Hello students, we will start again with one of the poems by Emily Dickinson. Earlier we had read two of her poems and we in our general introduction I had told you that the themes of Emily Dickinson's poems are related to death. There are so many poems that are related to death and the present poem that we are going to read is I heard a fly buzz when I died. So this poem is again as the title suggests is about death and the imaginations, the scene that Emily Dickinson sees or feels around the death of a person. So we will just go with a brief introduction of the poem and then in our next lecture I will be explaining the poem to you. So as the title suggests death is a theme that looms largely in the poetry of Emily Dickinson and there is perhaps no more celebrated poems of hers that begins I heard a fly buzz when I died. This is therefore not just a poem about death, it is a poem about the event of death means that Dickinson makes death as an event, the moment of dying as an event. The summary of a her I heard a fly buzz when I died is we can say is a poem that is spoken by a dead person means who is already dead and because a person only can explain his experiences of death after death because nobody who is alive can explain or give a an insight into the event of death. So it is clear that the poem is spoken by a dead person and we, you can note that there is a past tense of in the word died in the first line. The speaker it means is already dead and is telling us about what happened at her deathbed. We say her because the poem is written by Dickinson. Maybe it can be a male, but because it is written by Dickinson, we just feel that it is her imagination of the event of death. Everything we are told was still and silent around the speaker's deathbed and even the mourners attending the death of the person have stopped weeping. So I am just giving the introduction of the lines or the words that Dickinson has written and we will continue with a detailed explanation in our next lecture. So everything that is told was still and silent around the speaker's deathbed. Even the mourners have stopped crying. The eyes around had wrung them dry. It means that their eyes had wrung themselves dry or they had wrung their eyes dry with crying means that they after crying enough their tears have dried. Now the not the time for tears only stillness and silence. So everyone Dickinson speaker tells us seemed braced for the moment or prepared for the moment when the speaker of the poem would die and the king would be the witness in the room. Presumably, presumably who is the king that is death coming to take the speaker away. The speaker had just signed her will and to her beneficiaries and it was then we are told after her last will and testament had been signed that the fly interposed into the scene. With blue uncertain stumbling buzz uses Dickinson's trademark dashes to great effect conveying the sudden darting way flies can move around a room especially around light. So the explanation of a fly moving around the light is even so vivid 
that is given by Dickinson. Now, this fly comes between the speaker and the light. How should we interpret all this? It is simply the candle or lamp in the room that is lighting the place or is the light signaling the arrival of that king that is death is what is it is there a ray of death that is coming from the heavens has he come to take her or is it a simple light of the lamp and and why do the windows fail and how can we analyze that final line I could not see to see perhaps this is the clue which is being offered by the poet that in the English language seers and second sight seers were often blind in that they could not physically see but in another sense they saw further than everyone else because they had the gift of looking into the future they had the foresight and they had the prophecy to tell about the future second sight similarly is a supposed form of clairvoyance whereby the gifted person has access to an invisible world the world that is beyond death for instance so the speaker here could be saying that she should, could no longer physically see in order to find her way forward into the next world because she is already dead consider the more everyday phrase i can't do right for doing wrong dickinson's last line of the poem might be analyzed as a cryptic variation on that expression flies of course are associated with death because when a person dies or you must have seen some dead animals or so uh, around and you can see flies on them so flies are often associated with death and the dead they feed on the dead yet the presence of this fly remains puzzling so a high herd of fly buzz in its term of central image or object the fly is there is this the association between death and flies feeding on corpses and or is it a deliberate juxtaposition of the very small and the very big that is small as a fly and big that is death that Dickinson wants us to think about. So, the poet has uh, made the question open for everyone. In the last we can analyze that I heard a fly buzz when I died is one of Emily Dickinson's most popular poems probably because of its elusiveness and because like many of her great poems and her meditations on death it raises more questions than it settles. So, she throws open the question to us and leaves it for us to decide or to interpret what she wants to say about the experience of death or the life after death or the event of death. Thank you. We will continue with our poem and its explanation in our next lecture.